Team Rainbow Rainbow Kids, your boy Mel Taylor Tumor here with another video. I just got to give you guys a story time because this is a story time that I want to give. And it's also um, about telling my people to be careful. Um, you guys, I think I had a white gay stalker at the mall. Okay, so this is what happened. Um, my girlfriend's boyfriend, um, I'm friends with her. And, um, you know, I introduced her to a boyfriend. So I'm kind of like friends with both of them. He says, um, you know, I want to give, I want to give, um, I'm, I'm not going to name the names. I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to say him or her. So you don't know, because I don't want to get nobody away. But he says, yo, I want to give your friend something good. But, you know, I don't really know how to shop for women enough. He said, you know, you know her better than I do. Come, you know, help me pick them out. I said, okay. So he scooped me up and we went to um, a mall. And, um, you know, we was, help, we was looking through things. And he said, well, um, he said, hold on, I got to use the restroom. I, at this time, I didn't have to use the restroom. I said, okay, I'll wait out for you. So when I use the restroom, after I come out there, this guy, um, he goes in there, um, this white guy, he sits right down with me. He started having a conversation, woo -woo -woo -woo. we talk, hey, how you doing, how your day's going? I'm saying, oh, my day's going fine. He's like, man, you know, I really want to get effed up. Um, I, I, do you want to get effed up with me? You know, and I'm like, no, I'm like, first of all, I'm like, no, no offense, sir. I don't know you. Uh, then I don't just get effed up like that. Um, and then second of all, this situation is making me feel really, really uncomfortable. So finally, my friend walks out. I'm like, okay, yo, yo, bye, sir. I got to go. He's like, yeah, you ever want to get effed up? Meet with me. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I leave. So then my friend's like, um, you know him? I'm like, no, I don't know him. He talks to me, let's get effed up. Um, he won't take me somewhere. I'm not trying to wind up in an alley dead or nothing. I don't know this guy. I don't know whatever. So we fast so, so we let that go. We go to the shop, you know. I help my friend. I help him pick out some um, some nice presents for my from for, for um, his girlfriend, my friend, and just nice stuff she would like, you know. And he's like, oh man, he's like, yeah, 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 she's gonna really like this. Thank you so much for coming. I'm like, okay. So we decided to get something to eat. So we get something to eat in the food court. I think I had um, I had some Chinese noodles. I think he had like um, a burger and a fry. I just want Chinese food. So we were eating, talking. All of a sudden he says, um, he says, um, I'm, he 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 picks up stuff to go to the way. He said, I'm gonna run to the restroom again. And I think he had drunk a whole. He, he's he's on his um. He's really trying to eat healthy, so he's drinking a lot of water. So he has to go to the restroom a lot. And the restroom is kind of far from it, so he goes to the restroom. I still don't have to go at this time. So, um, and um, while he's gone, guess who shows up at the table with me? The same guy. And I'm like, hey, he's like, hey, how you doing? You know, have you given any thought to, thought to what you know? I'm like, uh, no. Um, I told you once before, I'm not interested in that. I don't know you. I don't get effed up like that. You're really kind of making me feel uncomfortable. So um, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get effed up. I like chocolate dudes. Okay, I'm like, okay, you know what? I got to go. I grab my plate. I, I, well, actually, I have a plate. You got a plate. So then I go, I go run to the restroom to find my friend. He comes in there, follow, follows behind me. Luckily, my friend's come out of the restroom, and I said, hey, he grabs me. We, we walk out the door. So I'm like, he's like, they said the same dude. I'm like, yeah, yo, this dude, this dude is crazy. I'm like, I'm ready to go. So I'm ready to go. He's like, okay, yo, let's go. So when we get ready to go, um, it's raining real bad this time. So he's like, he will. So um, he brought his umbrella and umbrella. He's like, you know what? The car's way far. He says, give me an umbrella. I'm running to get the car uh, umbrella. I'm going to pick you up on the way. Wait. He's, I said, okay. So he goes to get the umbrella. He gets the umbrella to go around the car. Now, mind you, when it's raining, everybody wants to get picked up at the door. So it's like a little long line. So I'm waiting for, the, waiting for him to come in the car. All of a sudden, guess who pops up while I'm waiting for him? The same white gay stalker dude. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, sir. Please do not come down. He's like, yo, have you given any um um options getting after? I'm like, excuse me, sir. I'm on my I'm gonna get on my phone and I'm calling 911 if you don't leave me alone. So by this time, um the guy um my friend pulls up. He just, he said, hey, leave your no, leave, leave my homeboy alone. So all of a sudden he he runs off. I jump the car. We leave. More of the story is this, and this is especially to my gay boys, film boys, transgender girls, if there's anybody. Be careful because there are so many crazy people out here and you never know what's in anybody's mind. And yes, this is not clickbait. This is a true story. This is nothing written, made up. I had a gay white stomach. So you guys be careful. Yo, be careful with me. Be careful out there because there's some crazy people in this world. All right? You guys be careful. Just be careful. Be careful. Bye.